We begin tonight with a health alert that will have you say, now I have heard it all. And I'm smoking some nutmeg. You heard him right, nutmeg. Teenagers are now using this common spice to catch a cheap homemade holiday high. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jamison Jeweler. Wendy has the night off. Our Scott Draper is live now to explain just how this nutmeg high works and what parents need to be on the lookout for. Scott. That's right, Jameson. Kids are actually going to the extremes of using this spice to get high. Now, you find nutmeg in all sorts of holiday treats like pumpkin pie, eggnog, but if consumed in high doses, it can make you very sick. The idea of using the spice nutmeg to bring on a high almost sounds like a joke. Who thinks of that? But if you look on YouTube, there are videos of kids doing it all over the place. No way. Not only are they eating it straight out of the container. I'm smoking some nutmeg. Yep, they're smoking it too and adding it to soup or tea and drinking it. There's even a testimonial on YouTube about how people feel after using it. I slept basically for three days straight. Most people who saw these YouTube videos couldn't believe people were getting high off a of spice. I don't know. This is weird. How does anyone come up with that? Like, how do you decide, <laughs> I'm going to chug a container of nutmeg? I just think it's weird. It's very, very weird. weird. According to various online reports, nutmeg contains myristicin, a compound that can cause euphoria and even hallucinations. In order to get high, you have to take a large dose of it. A small amount in recipes or on top of your eggnog isn't harmful. Because most homes have the spice in their pantry and because it's easy to obtain, it's now become an easy target for those kids looking to get high. What other kind of, you know, um, what are they, seasoning that you could possibly try to sm smoke or sniff? What else could they get their hands on? Yeah, it's kind of scary to hear about that. Again, in large doses, it can make you sick. Some of the symptoms to look out for, vomiting, dizziness, and it can cause convulsions. So it's something parents definitely need to be aware of now. Reporting live, Scott Draper, ABC Action News.